For over 15 years, Cancer Services of New Mexico has been providing education and assistance services for New Mexican families coping with cancer. So through programs like our uh, nationally recognized family cancer retreats, through our legal insurance and paperwork assistance program, and through our support services for caregivers and for newly diagnosed parents, um, we help people get the information and tools that they need to navigate the cancer journey. We serve over 1,200 New Mexicans coping with cancer each year, but because we don't have a physical office and we don't have any full-time staff, we're able to direct over 95% of the funds that we raise directly to providing client services. Our services are available at no charge to any New Mexican coping with cancer. So, of course, we serve patients and survivors, uh, but we also serve the family members and caregivers who love them and support them through the process. Um, most people find out about us through um, their oncology provider, their, their doctors, their nurses, the people in the clinic, or through someone else who has accessed our services. Um, but one of the reasons, actually, we're thrilled to uh, have the opportunity to reach out to the Albuquerque and Ball, uh, community is that many people have no idea we exist until they need us and sometimes they're so overwhelmed that at that point they don't know how to reach us. So the more people we can make aware of what we have to offer, the more people we can touch. Our signature program is our Family Cancer Retreat, um, which is not only the largest cancer education program here in New Mexico, it's actually the largest program of its type in the U.S. Um, and twice a year, uh, 100 plus families attend this free three-day educational program where they um, come on a Friday, leave on a Sunday, and between that time get all of the tools and information they need to manage the cancer journey. So it's a very intensive educational program, but also a chance to be with other families that are coping uh, with the same sorts of situations. And for many families, just the first chance since the diagnosis to be away together and start having them, some of those conversations about how the disease is impacting them. Uh, there's one family from our last family cancer retreat that has really struck with me. It was a man about my age who attended the program with his sister and his brother and his niece. Um, and I met them Friday night at dinner just as the program was getting started. And they told me how much they were looking forward to the weekend and how much uh, they were looking to learn. Um, I, I saw them several times over the weekend, and although the man was quite frail, every time I saw him, he had a huge smile on his face, uh, told me what a great time he was having. The interesting thing is the next week, I got an email from one of my board members who had gotten a call from his sister, um, and I want to share the email she sent. It said she wanted us to know, this is the sister, how much her brother had looked forward to the retreat and that it was the first time in ages that she and her siblings had spent any length of time together. Besides getting so much out of the retreat, they'd stayed up late laughing and reminiscing. She wanted us to know what it meant to the family to have that time together, and that her brother passed away just three days later. She and I cried together and talked for quite a while. She wanted to thank us for giving them the opportunity to be together and to let us know how appreciative they are. I'm just so honored that we had the opportunity to give that gift to that family. So if you know anyone that, that you care for has ever been diagnosed with cancer or if you've been over, uh, diagnosed yourself, you know how completely overwhelming the process is. Um, we reach out at a time when people are extraordinarily vulnerable and give them the help and assistance that they need, um, not just as the person diagnosed, but as the whole family to, to make it through the process. So one thing we're really excited about is we launched a program this year uh, called Sponsor a Family and it actually lets individuals or groups um, sponsor a family to attend our family cancer retreat. Um, and a grant from Albuquerque Involved would actually provide enough funds for three families to attend the program in the next year. So that would be really exciting.